Why? Hi. Hi. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. How sure is going? It's going well. I was like shorties, and then I realised yeah. that that's the name of the convention. Yeah, really good. Am I supposed to be holding this, or do you want you me to can, click this on? You can click it. Let's clip it on. Yeah, great. That's easy. Yeah, it's going really well. Thank nice. you. It's nice to be here. I wanted to talk to you a bit about Season of Love. Because oh, I'm receiving yeah. the press screener next month. Oh my god! Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm definitely. really excited to see it. So what can I expect? Is it some kind of um, ensemble movie, like Love Actually, mm -hmm. and where all the lives intersect exactly. at one point? Yeah. I love those movies. Yeah, it should be fun. It was really nice to be a part of something that was just like a happy ending in many ways. Like I always used to love watching, uh, you know, romantic films when I was yeah. younger. And it was a genre that I really enjoyed, you know, because sometimes you want to escape from the horrors yeah, of the world and exactly. just like have a bit of fun. Especially around Christmas nice. times. Yeah, exactly. And then on top of that, obviously being part of the first ever queer Christmas movie is it's amazing. really special and really exciting. Yeah. And what are you excited about most when you think, without giving, any, giving away any spoilers, what are you excited about most for fans to see? <laughs> That's hard, isn't it? Excited slash nervous about obviously my my song my music yeah. goes in there. Um, it's a it's a yeah it's a big step. It's exciting. I'm glad. And um, I can imagine because you're obviously now used to such a close cast as one on the herb. Was mm. it how was it for you to go into a new set with new uh, colleagues and stuff? Yeah, it was good. I'd, I'd taken a bit of a break uh, previous to that, so I, I had just come back from Brazil for five months. So it was like first, you know, getting back into things and um, finding my feet. So, but it was such a nice, such a nice set to be on. Um, all of the women were so, so kind, generous. Um, and yeah, so it, it was a very easy set to come back to oh, and have a, have a good great. time on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was as is with you know um, movie making. Often, you're, I'm not actually there for that long mm -hmm. in comparison to something like my no no. We've, we're there for five months, and we have like such a strong bond. By the end of it, it really feels like we've been yeah. through a huge journey. Whereas uh, with a film, I, I may have only been there for a couple of weeks, no, no more, you know, and only in in and out. Yeah. So it's different, of course. But it was a very, very nice set to to nice. be a part of. Do I have time for more? One question. Okay, great. Um, so you're in Buckout Row 2. <laughs> and I was wondering, because Earp is always saying like, oh, we're very loyal, and we always follow you wherever you go, we support every project mm -hmm. you do, and it seems like the cast, all of them end up in super scary movies at the moment. Is that something, a joint decision you've uh, made to oh, test you mean like, uh, Yeah, the I know. Or not, and, <laughs> and also, Michael's got a, a scary movie coming out as so. well. No, absolutely not. And it's weird that it's timed like this. Like, it was something that feels like an eternity ago. You know, I think I was, I was either after season one or season two. I think it's even after, just after season one that wow. I filmed it. So it feels like just such a, such a long time ago. Um, but that's, I guess, the way it happens sometimes. <laughs> it just, like, comes back around to haunt you. <laughs> no, but it was, uh, yeah. Okay, well, fun movie. thank you so very much for talking to me. Yeah, no problem. And uh, enjoy the con. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much.